All right, kids, welcome to lesson 32. Today, we will be using the pink conversation book. So please make sure that you have that out and ready to go. Have you got it? Okay, good. But first, we are going to review the vocabulary. So, what's this? Right, pencil, pencil. Pencil. What's this? Right. Crayon. 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 What's this? Right. Eraser. 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 What's this? Right, ruler, ruler, ruler. What's this? Right, pencil case, pencil case, pencil case. What's this? Right, notebook, notebook. Notebook. And what's this? Right. Desk. 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 And what's this? Right. Chair. 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 How about this? Right, whiteboard, whiteboard, whiteboard. And how about this one? Right, computer, computer, computer. How about this one? Right, backpack. Backpack, backpack, how about this, right, map, map, map. All right, now let's do the conversation book. So before we do the main lesson, we are going to do this page, page 10. So. This one is called Valentine. So repeat after me and read along. Valentine. It is Valentine's Day. I see a teddy bear. I see a card. I see a rose. Do you see hearts? So, let's read that again. It is Valentine's Day. I see a teddy bear. I see a card. I see a rose. Do you see hearts? Okay, so. Can you point to the teddy bear? Right, the teddy bear is right here. Do you see the card? Yes, the card is right here. Do you see hearts? Yes, the hearts are right here. But do you see a rose? No, there is no rose. So what we can do is we can draw one ourselves. So here's the stock of the rose. This is called the stock of the rose. Then we can draw 
the flower of the rose with many little little petals on it. And then the most important part of what makes a rose a rose is that it has, what do roses have? Roses have, they have thorns. So you draw little thorns here. These are the thorns of the rose. Make sure they don't prick you or they're going to make you make you bleed. Okay, so let's answer the questions. What day is it? It's Valentine's. day. And what is the teddy bear holding? What's the teddy bear holding right there? It's one of your vocabulary words, right? A pencil. He's holding a pencil. And how many hearts do you see? Well, I don't know about you, but I see two hearts. One, two. So, Let's write, I see two hearts. Okay, very good. Now let's move on. So now we go on to the conversation part which is, how are you? This is the lesson, how are you? So we ask the question, how are you, to see how people are doing. So repeat after me. How are you? How are you? How are you? So how are you is basically the same as saying sabaydi mai. So sabaydi mai, how are you? Same, same. Okay. So, the ways you can answer how are you are, if you are feeling good, like Dimak, like very good, you can say great. See, this guy is so happy. So he says, great. So repeat after me, great, great, great. Or if you can say, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Both of those mean basically the same thing, like you're just doing good. All right. Now, if you're just like, eh, I'm okay, like chay chay, you say, I'm okay. So repeat after me. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Or, meaning the same thing, you can say, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, if you feel really bad, you can say, you know, not good, which means mighty, not good. So you would say, not good. How are you? Not good. So repeat after me. Not good. Not good. Not good. Or you can say bad, which also means mighty. Bad. Bad. 
bad. Okay, let's go over those again from the beginning. So, how are you? Great. 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 Wonderful. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Not good. Not good. Not good. Bad. 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 And then whenever someone asks you how you're doing, you should always reply, thank you. And you? So repeat after me. Thank you. And you? Thank you. And you? Thank you. And you? All right, so what, So this girl is asking, how are you? This girl right here, she's asking her friend, how are you? And so what do you think she's going to say? Do you think the friend is going to say bad or great? Who thinks bad? Who thinks great? Yep, she's going to say great. So. How are you? Great. How are you? Great. How are you? Great. Now, what do you think this guy is going to say based on his expression? You think he's going to say, I'm fine or bad? Who thinks I'm fine? Who thinks bad? Right. It's I'm fine. So repeat after me. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, now what about this guy? What do you think he's going to say? Do you think he's going to say bad or wonderful? How is he? Who thinks bad? Who thinks wonderful? Yep, it's bad. So repeat after me. How are you? Bad. How are you? Bad. How are you? Bad. Okay, very good. All right, now turn to page 13 in your conversation books. And we can do this together. We're going to do this exercise together. You don't need to do it as homework. I am just going to, I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to go through the answers with you right now. So starting with Jack, Jack would say, so Pim says, hello, Jack. So what do you think Jack said here? Right. He said, hello. Hello, Pim. Hello, Jack. So now Kim, what's she gonna say? Jane says, I'm fine, thank you, and you? So that means Kim said, hello. And then what did she say? What's the main question we've been doing this entire time? The answer to it. Right, how are you? And then, Number three, Jane and Jai. So Jane would say, hi, I'm June. Why would she say that? Maybe she has a nickname. So then Jai will say, hello, June. Okay, very good. All right. 
This is still on page 13. How are you, Tom? And Tom would say, fine. Thank you. Should always say thank you. Then Anne would say, hello, Bob. And then what do you think Bob would say back to Anne? Someone says hello to you, you say? Hello, right back to them. So hello, Bob. Hello, Anne. Okay. On to page 14, first part. Bob says, hello, Lex. Then Lex says to Bob, hi, Bob. How are you? And then Bob says, fine. Thank you. Okay, 14. Nid would say, hello. What does she say? Who's she talking to? Hello, teacher. She's talking to her teacher. And then so the teacher says, hello, Nid. How are you? And then Nid says, fine. Thank you. Okay. So those are the answers. Please write them correctly. All right. Uh, thank you, kids. And I will see you in the next lesson.